MLA Jennifer Rice says the government is making moves to make sure people know when extreme heat is on the way. We have basically two, um, uh, you know, two notification levels. So one would be a warning where we wouldn't use the broadcast intrusive um, alerting message, but we would be talking with local governments and First Nations and making sure that plans are getting underway if needed. And then when we have an emergency event, um, we would definitely launch the broadcast intrusive alerting system so people would get a notification on radio, TV, and on their cellular net cellular networks. Northern Health played a big part in heat preparations for Northwest communities, planning as far back as winter to work on a preparedness guide, which can be found on the province's website. We all sort of put our heads together over the winter to come up with um, the heat alert system that I just sort of articulated, um, as well as sort of um, that broader HARS document that you can Find online. The two-stage alert system will be triggered when temperatures hit a certain threshold. Dr. Fummerton of Northern Health says the risk is much higher for those who are more vulnerable or have underlying conditions. Groups of people who are much more susceptible to being, um, you know, to have those really severe outcomes um, than others. So it's, it's, it's particularly important for those people at highest risk to um, to try to stay as cool as possible. With climate change being at the forefront of discussions, communities should prepare their homes and themselves, even if temperatures aren't as drastic at this time. Well, I think it's becoming increasingly, increasingly more predictable that things can be unpredictable. We all need to be a little bit more prepared, um, even when the weather you know, is an extreme. For CFTK TV News, I'm Hannah Schmidt in Terrace.